Pull it over, man. 311 dispatch. We are on eastbound US Route 1 in pursuit of a black sports car. Acknowledged. It's going to be a gesture 27 Queen Paul George 192. Speeds approximately 30 miles per hour. Hey everybody, this is your bro Benzo. We're going to be out here in the Palato Bay in Blaine County in the Sheriff's Department using a model and texture replacement for the Sheriff Deputy. I thought this turned out pretty good. I'll put the uh, link down in the description because there's a lot of people that kind of had their hands in this with the actual badge, HD textures, the, uh, the belt, the model, the whole thing. I thought this uh, particular model here kind of suited me. I like this. There's a few other models also that get replaced. And also I've got a few requests to do a Chevy Tahoe. So we'll be uh, using this vehicle right here. And I'll put the link down in the description for this as well. We're just gonna grab a quick uh, vest in the back. But this uh, Chevy Tahoe turned out pretty nice. I like it a lot. Look at that bad boy. But yeah, we'll be doing some uh, looking for traffic infractions and probably handle some callouts as well. I'll be able to look, let you look on the inside. It's turned out pretty good, the police computer there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get today's episode started. As always, guys, I would like to do a timestamp a little bit beyond the 10 minute mark and see what kind of bros are hanging with Benzo. See if you can hang in there for 10 minutes and then come back and write the uh, timestamp down that I give you in the video. And then I'll be sure to try to comment back to you guys. I really appreciate the support I've been getting lately. Overwhelming support. For the last uh, couple of weeks, I've been just uh, flabbergasted at all the people responding to the videos, making comments. You guys have really made my day, I tell you. Okay, we just got alerted to a vehicle that was um, involved with assault with a deadly weapon. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check this out. 311 dispatch, roger that. We're going to be heading uh, northbound, US Route 1. Going to make contact with the vehicle. 10 4, copy. Okay, the vehicle in question just made a left right up here. I do believe it's this truck. Okay, we're going to go ahead and bypass a little bit of lights. I don't want him to get too far away from us. It's actually not the truck. It's this vehicle right here. Dispatch calling unit 3, Ocean 11. Approach with caution. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run in. Hey, uh, he's running this red. Actually, no, he just turned to right. That's all right. We're going to run our plate check. He's probably going to notice we're back here behind him. Okay, 311 dispatch, and you get a plate check on an exemplar. It's going to be 25 Queen George Henry 623 on exemplar. Silver. Target license plate. 25 Queen George Henry 623. Advise your party. Officers to use caution. Okay. He does have a uh, felony bench warrant. So we're going to get right past this uh, particular light right here and then we're gonna make a traffic stop he sees me back behind him right now and he's probably even shitting his pants forgive my French okay we're gonna initiate a traffic stop okay we're going code 3 Okay, we'll be also using a new siren that I got installed. Oh, we got uh, shots fired. 311 dispatch, we have shots fired. Copy that, Okay, I'm gonna stay with this. We got shots fired. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, man. Targets have evaded capture. 
Oh, and you know Benzo hates that. Oh, you know it. Okay. This means war. This means war. <laughs> I hate that, man. We had some uh, drive-by shooters come up behind him. And they shot me in the chest like three times. Ah, that just irritates me, man. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spawn another vehicle here. Here we go. There we go. Simple as that. Well, uh, let me grab another vest. Yeah, I'm trying to get away from uh, editing so much of the, you know, those kinds of things. You know, it happens. You know, uh, L every LSPDFR video maker, it tends to happen every now and then where you get shot and killed. But, uh, that uh, didn't go too well. Yeah, he had some friends back him up there. That's what makes those calls rather unique, if you will. Uh, we'll get him next time, right? Alright, guys, make sure you're hanging with me. I'm going to throw up a little timestamp at a little bit of 10 minute mark, a little bit past that, maybe, or a little bit before that. And, uh, like I said, I really appreciate you guys responding to the comments down below. And guys, we have one week for the month of January before the actual contest ends. If you don't know what the contest is, go to the description. We have a $50 gift certificate that's going to be issued uh, probably sometime late next week in February. And it's going to be to Amazon. So one of you guys are going to win that. So make sure you share the video. Come back and write the word shared or done. Share it through social media. Make sure you are a subscriber. And then I will pick a winner in February, early February, probably uh, first week of February. Okay, right now we're just kind of looking for any kind of traffic infractions. And if we get any kind of call outs, we'll take those as they come. Citizens reporting a criminal resisting arrest on Great Ocean Highway. Okay, we've got an illegal street race going on right here. I don't know how well my Chevy Tahoe is going to keep up, but let's go. Okay, here they are. They're in a really fast vehicle. Pull it over, man. 311 dispatch, we are on eastbound US Route 1 in pursuit of a black sports car. Acknowledged. It's going to be a Jester 27 Queen Paul George 192. Speed's approximately 30 miles per hour. 10-4, copy. Suspect flight plate. 2. George 192. No entry Okay. Here we go. We have uh, Air Patrol on one of them. Officers on the pursuit call. A uh, suspect vehicle was last seen heading north near the power station. Containment will be set up ahead of his last known direction of travel. This call is still code 6. Avalon, pack 3. Okay. I'm going to get this guy right here in this jester. Okay, he's circling back around the other way. 311 dispatch. We are going to westbound US Route 1 now. Speed's approximately 40 miles per hour in this jester. Copy that, 10 4. Oh, 1050. Nope, they're going down. Where in the hell did he go? Oh, did he circle back around? Screw this, man. Oh, here he is. Right here. Oh, he's he's on foot. Here, love him, dispatch. He's on foot. Acknowledged. Okay, he just hopped the fence. He's bailing. Acknowledged. Okay, we're going to go after him on foot here. Get your hands up, man. Get your hands up. Get down. 
Get down. Okay, we got him. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and pat him down. His name is Jethro Gibbs. How funny. Okay, he's got a pocket knife in there, four ID cards, handgun. Yeah, this guy's a bad guy. Okay, I'm gonna put him up here. See if they'll follow me over here. See if they'll hop this fence. Can we get over the fence, man? Okay, good. Come over here. Get over here. Yeah, I got him. Dispatch, we have a uh, suspect detained. Yeah, I didn't see him come over here. He ran right into that telephone pole. Okay. I'm going to cut this uh, siren off. One second. Okay. Okay, guys. Time stamp that video, guys. Look at the time on your video. Make a comment down below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to respond to you guys and give you some rock star status, guys. I really appreciate all the uh, comments down below, and if you can uh, do that for me, I'd greatly appreciate it. That would let me know that you've been hanging with Benzo past the 10 minute mark. And uh, let's go ahead and get this guy to jail. I know some of you guys like to watch me uh, get him actually into the jail cell. Let's see if he follows me back over here. Okay, he'll probably uh, come. Okay, here he comes. He mines so well. Okay. Get back over here, man. Okay, he went back into the back. Yeah, he's back there. Here. Actually, let's do this real fast. Go ahead and uh, just tow him away. You stupid ass. I don't know what that uh, motorcycle cop's done over there, Dan. He's been cursing the whole time. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this vehicle turned out pretty good. Shit. Here. Here, we'll cut a little bit. Okay, 311 dispatch. We're going to be heading over to the uh, jail cell. Taking suspect to jail. Copy that, 10-4. Okay, once again, he is uh, being charged with uh, street racing, felony evade, and um, damage to public property. <laughs> sort of like what I just did, right? Okay. And some of you guys like watching this, and uh, I totally get it. You know, it's a little bit of simulation work. And, uh, you know, not every single episode, guys, is going to be about shootouts and those kinds of things. Uh, I just realized that uh, a lot of my episodes are kind of laid back occasionally, just doing some field work. But uh, I always appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and liking the videos. And I really appreciate all the subscribers lately. It means a lot. Okay, we'll take... Uh, oop, my bad. We'll take Mr. Gibbs here to uh, to the jail cell. We'll get him booked down there. Okay, and then we'll take him downstairs, actually. Here we go. All right, come on down. You have to throw Gibbs. Sometimes you have to kind of grab him a little bit. Get over here, man. Put him in the back here. He's pretty quiet. You notice that he did? He hasn't said one word. It's very odd. Usually they kind of complain or something, but uh, he has not complained 
What are these guys doing? Guess they do not like sheriff officers out here. Okay, cool. Okay, we got a uh, traffic collision actually right here behind me. Yeah, we got an MVA right here. Okay, let's go over here and talk to see what's going on. We're rolling some, uh, well, let's see what's going on first. Okay, let me get a uh, statement from this bed right here. She said, uh, I'm just waiting for a mate. Okay, what kind of mate? Like a friend or a actual mate? Let me ask her again. Let's see, do you have any injuries? She's saying, I feel fine. I don't think I'm hurt at all. Okay. All right, so uh, have you been taking any kind of drugs or anything like that? Says the uh, pet could be under the influence of some narcotics. All right. I don't think this guy's involved. No, I don't think he is. Okay, this one here is, so you can see the busted out window. Let me talk to her. She's saying I'm not sure what happened, okay. You have any injuries? She's saying I'm okay, just a few cuts and scrapes. Okay, let me see if I can go ahead and have her step out. All right, make sure. I don't. I don't think she's taking any kind of drugs or alcohol. Any kind of alcohol? She. She's all right. Let me. Uh, you haven't taken any kind of drugs or anything. She noticeably smells her narcotics. Okay. All right, maybe she smoked blunt. I don't know, ma'am. Uh, just for the sake of this investigation, uh, I'm going to need to do a quick little sobriety test on you. We're going to go ahead and do a drugalizer on her. Okay, she is positive for cocaine. So, uh, do what we're going to have to do here, ma'am. Okay, ma'am, you don't quite understand. You need to get out of that vehicle right now. Unfortunately, I gotta do this right here. There's no other way for me to talk to her. Whoa, get back over here. Okay, she's on foot. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. We're gonna have to do this the hard way. You get on the ground before I tase you. Yeah, she's got some cocaine in her system. Here I was, but feeling sorry for her, right? Okay, her name is Kim Orange. All right, Miss Orange, you hold wow. on one second. You hold still. I don't have a female officer out here. Okay, get back over here, please. Well, I was thinking that she uh, didn't have any alcohol in her system. She ended up having cocaine in her system instead. Interesting. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, get her in the back of this vehicle right here. And I'm also going to check this lady right here for uh, some possible drugs as well. All right, you get in the back of the vehicle, please. Get back there, please. Thank you, Miss Orange. All right, let me talk to this lady right here. Okay. Says uh, the pet could be under the influence of narcotics. It doesn't say that she is. It says the pet is completely sober. Okay. Let me talk. Let me go ahead and. Uh, man, I'm gonna go ahead and do a drugalizer on you, please. And uh, she's positive for cannabis. And as far as I know, Los Santos does not have a policy where you can smoke cannabis and unfortunately I'm gonna have to do this as well okay ma'am you're about to become my favorite target get on the ground 
Yeah, there's really no other way I can interact with this lady. Normally I would not do that. But, uh, yeah, she's not allowed to uh, drive and smoke some uh, weed, if you know what I mean. Alright, follow me back this way. I'd much rather smoke weed than uh, do cocaine, I'll tell you that. We'll put both of these young ladies in the back of this car. Alright. Here, you get in the back of that vehicle, please. Go ahead and get in. Holy shit! Here, get in. Get back there. You have a seat. Okay, we'll take both of them to jail here in just a second. And uh, let's go ahead and tend to these vehicles here real fast. And since both of them are under the influence, I'm going to go ahead and search their vehicles. See if we find anything else. I'm just going to quick do a quick uh, search real fast. Just got a little small photo. We'll just search the uh, trunk area real fast as well. And yeah, I know there's other compartments, but uh, we're just going to do a quick... Oh, she had a shotgun back there. All right. I'm going to hurt it away so the traffic can move clear here. I'll set up a few road blockades, right? Okay, let me look over here. We'll uh, go ahead and search this as well. Oop. Okay, and uh, she's got a shotgun in there too. And these ladies could have done a lot of damage here. Okay, dispatch need to get a tow truck at my location, East US Route 13. Okay, they're going to notify tow, and then we're going to take these young ladies to jail. And they don't appear to be hurt, so... Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and end our episode right here. We're going to take these two young ladies to jail, and I really do appreciate you stopping by the channel, guys. Make sure you check out the send card. Click on the next video you see in the end card. And come back and visit me, guys. We'll see you next time on the next patrol. Take care. Thank you for watching Benzo's YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.